The National Hurricane Center has completed its final analysis of Hurricane Ida. Yeah, many expect that the storm will be upgraded to a Category 5. That didn't happen this time. It will officially go on record as a Category 4 with winds sustained at 150 miles per hour. Now tying it with Laura and the last island hurricane in 1856 as the strongest hurricane to ever make landfall in Louisiana. Information that did not factor into that announcement are reports from two ships in Port Fouchon. Uh, that recorded gust of 223 and 170 miles per hour. The National Hurricane Center says they don't have enough information about those reports, such as elevation of the wind instruments on the ships, so they can't use it. Now, if more details from those ships are revealed, they could update the report. The classification led to misleading complaints on social media, with people claiming that a Cat 5 designation would have caused your deductible to be waived. One attorney said that's just as likely to happen as the Easter Bunny returning your deductible. Others call it complete fiction. According to the Louisiana Department of Insurance, three things can trigger deductibles and two specifically for hurricanes. When a storm system gets a name and when a tropical storm reaches hurricane strength, that's at 74 miles per hour. And then there's the windstorm and hail deductible, which is from winds from any source, including hurricanes, but also tornadoes and other random thunderstorms. Experts say it's possible a specific policy could be written to waive a deductible for a Cat 5 designation, but that is unlikely. And with all this talk of hurricane damage, officials in Terrebonne Parish want your help with ongoing damage assessment there. They want to see your pictures from the aftermath of the storm. You can email them to idaphotos at tpcg.org. If you didn't hear me there, you can see it right there on your screen. They suggest sending just one or two pictures at a time and be sure to include an address and any other relevant information so they know where the damage occurred. And there's more help available for Ida survivors. Money from FEMA will extend the ongoing crisis counseling program. That program has helped to connect people with recovery options and mental health help, often going door to door or just visiting shelters to check on storm victims.